up my youtube family welcome back to the channel happy new year probably this will be my first video for the year and i want to show you the most expensive spot in nigeria currently at polo club in joss i've always known of this spot but i've never been here to watch it so i got the opportunity to come watch it so first of all when you enter this place the first thing you will notice is they have a very nice um, restaurant that's where i'm currently eating and i'm taking food salad you guys come and join me polo is one of the most expensive spots and it's, it's mostly played by the Nigerian nigerians as you can see so they're having a tournament right now and i am here to watch and also make a short film about it i hope you enjoy it and stay tuned guys Polo is a game played by two teams on horses and its popularity as one of the top sports for rich people has earned its nickname the sport for kings. Sports that rich people enjoy like polo feel special and exclusive because you have to be a member of a polo club to play or even watch the match. Players also have to display great skills and athleticism. Sports such as polo requires maintenance for the horses, club membership fees, training and sponsorship all add up. But it makes it all worth it if you experience a dignified world class sport where you see a lot of or you get in touch with a lot of elite members in the society. So one major thing I noticed is a lot of dignitaries all across the country come to world tournament, ranging from emirs of city, town chiefs, big businessmen and all of that. Hence the security here is very tight. Even though I was invited by a friend, I needed a pass to get in. For regular fans that just want to watch the game, the gate fee range for 1000 to 5000 naira. You might say is it worth it? I will say definitely yes. Polo in northern Nigeria was introduced during the colonial days by the British. It dates as far back as 1904, making it as default one of the oldest sports in Nigeria. The sport's origin is traced to ancient Greece and it was introduced to the country by the colonial masters, that is, the British. Lagos was the first place where the game was introduced in 1914 and it quickly spread to the rest of the country. The first Grand Polo competition took place in 1914. He himself gave the trophy to be won between Cameroon and Nigeria under the British and German control on behalf of the Cassia Wilhelm II. The annual cup got named Cassia Wilhelm Cup and in 1960 it was renamed the Independent Cup. Like other games, as a team is required to secure more points than the other opponents, which signifies the game is won at the end of the completed time. On the other hand of the pitch, each team tries to control and maintain the ball to secure a goal eventually. A team consists of four players, two are considered attackers and the other two as defenders. Though there isn't a fixed rule for any of the individual, so any player could play any ring depending on what the team needs at the moment. Rules of the game Polo has a basic scoring system with a goal being scored when the ball is hit into the goal, unlike other sports. Polo teams shift field direction every time a goal is called. Rather than a regular interval such as a halftime, the game is played on a field 300 yards long and 200 yards wide. The goal posts are 8 yards wide and open to the top and each polo match consists of 4 players all lasting 7 minutes. The game begins as soon as the umpire throws the ball between the two teams, which is also how the game resumes once a goal is scored. Once a goal is scored, the team switch sides. Even though the sport started in the southern part of the country, 
Polo is mostly played in northern Nigeria, with Polo capital being Kaduna State. Some of the major clubs in the north include Just Polo Club, Kaduna Polo Club, Kano Polo Club, Katsina Polo Club, Zaria Polo Club, Almin Polo Club, and many others. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, you just watched, do out hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I drop videos like this and do out follow me on Instagram at Simon Films. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.